What's up? It's Greg with RC Driver. Now, over the past few weeks, I've been putting up a lot of videos. I hope you noticed them and enjoyed them. I know some of you do because you put some really positive comments in the comments section below, and I really appreciate that. And I do read a lot of them. And one of the comments I notice often is, what is that yellow van hanging on the wall? And this van you see right here has been hanging up over there for the past few weeks. Now, rather than keep on answering all the comments individually, I thought, hey, why don't I do a video dedicated to this truck right here? So to start the story off, I got to back up all the way to 2011. Uh, Axial got a hold of me and they said, hey, Greg, we want you to come out to our Axial West Coast Challenge. And it was probably about two months before the event. And I was pretty excited that, uh, you know, they got a hold of me to go. And so I said, sure, I'm in. So I made all the arrangements, made the plans. And, um, well, I had an Axial Honcho at the time. And it sat there, and it sat there, and I'm a bit of a procrastinator. So it, it was probably about two, three weeks before the event, two and a half weeks before the event. I'm like, oh, God, I, I got to go and build a truck for this event. So I got online, and, and I wanted to build something different. And, you know, there was a lot of the, I shouldn't say the same old truck, but a lot of just, you know, typical style trucks with, the, you know, the cage beds and whatnot. And I said, I got to build something different. So I sat there and I thought and I thought. And I remember back to when I was 16 years old, my dad gave me his big one ton van to drive. That was the first car I ever drove was a big one ton Chevy van. And uh, that thing was just a beast. And I so for fun, I looked up online off road vans and I found this company called Sportsmobile. I think it was Sportsmobile. And they made custom off-road vans. And they had one similar to what you see right here. I think they use Fords, but I'm a Chevy family. So, you know, I, I set off to find a Chevy van. Well, there's not a lot of van bodies in the RC world. So I was searching and looking. And then I remembered that Kyosho made a Moon Eyes van on the Super 10. And uh, this is the Moon Eyes van body from Kyosho right here. So again, I'm online and I'm searching around, searching around, trying to find this body right here. And I finally found one in Britain. And, you know, here we are two and a half weeks away from the event. And there's a body for sale on eBay in Britain. And, uh, well, it was a lot of money. It was, the seller wanted $250 for the body. It was new in package. And, you know, it was overseas. And so I paid the $250 for it plus the shipping. And it actually got here in just a few days. I, I love how, you know, it takes just a short amount of time to go from overseas. Whereas, you know, if I get something from California, it's like seven days. Anyway, we won't talk about that. So anyway, the, the van body arrives and I start wrenching on the car. Um, and I, I realize I got to get bumpers. I got to get tires. Uh, I got to make this look like that sportsmobile uh, van that I saw online. So uh, again, back to back to the web and I start researching and RC four wheel drive came to the rescue. They had a lot of the cool accessories that you see on this van right here. And so basically I, I ordered up um, a lot of the stuff you see. They were really great. I explained to them that, Hey, I need this stuff right away. And you know, the crew over there is just awesome. And they jumped right on it. So anyway, I've got my moon eyes van body and I, I, went and fitted it to the SCX-10. I, I got uh, uh, the Axial Link kit and I, I made sure the wheelbase was correct. And uh, then it came time to actually fitting these accessories onto the car. And well, they didn't just bolt right on. Um, they needed actually to be welded and, and custom fitted. Luckily, my brother is an awesome welder and I have a great relationship with my brother. And I said, listen, I'm down to like a week and a half before I go. I said, Jeff, I need you to help fit this to the truck. And I printed out a picture from the from the website of what the van looked like. And I said, I need you to customize the roof rack and the front bumper and the rear bumper to fit this truck. And he's not an RC guy. He's a, he, he builds real uh, full-scale cars. Uh, he builds uh, trucks, uh, lowrider trucks and stuff at the time. So he said, all right, I'll see what I could do. And I gave it to him. I think it was, if I remember correctly, it was on a Wednesday. And Thursday night, he calls me up and he says, come pick up your stuff. Just typical brother fashion there. So anyway, uh, what he did was, it, this was an RC four-wheel drive, I believe it was the Defender roof rack. Okay, and so uh, it had a bunch of uh, extra bars that came down to fit the uh, Defender body. 
Uh, and what he did was he cut them off and then re, uh, he cut the additional pieces off and made these uh, pillar mounts here and these extra hoops in the front. Uh, he actually took an extra plate of metal here and welded in the front for the light rack. Uh, and then he found this, um, this metal uh, corrugated uh, type material here. I think it was gutter guard uh, and then zip tied it to the top. Then around back here, uh, the, you, you need to have a spare tire in, in competition. So he took some extra bar from uh, the roof rack and made a wheel mount for it. It's a little loose right now, but, uh, and then he fitted, uh, I believe he did a little work to fit the rear bumper on as well. This is an RC four wheel drive rear bumper. And again, this is uh, an RC four wheel drive front bumper right here. And uh, he did a little work on that as well. Uh, there's a, an extra piece of uh, a bar in the front here to act as sort of a, a bash guard. And uh, he made a custom mount to fit this bumper to the SCX-10 frame. So uh, there, was, there was a lot of custom work in a short amount of time. So he, uh, he got me the, the, the parts back and then I set off to paint the body. And again, I used that Sportsmobile uh, themed body that I, or, or full scale paint job that I saw. And I just mimicked it here and I threw some some uh, axial decals and uh, four by four decals, kind of where they had it placed. So I try to make it look as realistic as possible. Again, give it that scale truck look. And and they too, they had uh, lights on the front and they had a winch. Uh, so again, you know, you gotta have a winch in competition. So I did uh, put that on as well. Let's see what else I did on the outside here. Uh, so these are RC four wheel drive rims as well. I, I looked online, I couldn't find them. So I, I think some of this stuff has been discontinued. So if you're, you're trying to replicate something similar, um, you know, you're gonna have to do a lot of searching to find this stuff. These are RC four wheel drive Dixie Peck tires. Uh, and that's it really for the outside of it. I, again, oh, and then, so after everything was welded and, and um, fitted and made sure it was, it was all, it looked great. Took a spray on bed liner and sprayed everything down for this matte black finish. And actually, it gave it a nice rugged finish. Uh, this thing did get beat up at the uh, the West Coast Challenge there. And uh, there's a lot of nicks and scratches on the, the bumpers. But they held up pretty well. They still look really cool. So this truck, as you see it right here, I've only run it one time since Axial's uh, event. Uh, I had such an awesome time at that event that I didn't want to... Uh, do anything to this truck. I wanted to just leave this truck as is so I could remember that event. And now it's a, uh, you know, Axial Fest and it's an awesome event. And, and this year for 2017, I think it's going to be massive. Uh, if, if entries are still open, I suggest you go and, uh, if you can make the event, do it. You'll never regret it. You'll, you'll remember it for the rest of your life. Like I did when it was just the West Coast challenge. It was truly that awesome of an event. So um, I'm going to take this over to the workbench right now and I'll get I'll show you a little bit more detail of what's under the hood. Now just remember this is 2011 under the hood. Um, uh, not much has changed but some has changed. So you know it's a little crude and like I said I built this thing probably in about under two weeks. So uh, we were actually uh, Tony Fallon of CompetitionX.com. We were at that event together and we were thrashing to, to finish up the build uh, in order to get it out for the run. Let me get it over the bench. I'll show you what's under the hood. And then after that, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the rocks. All right. So let's take a closer look at the Axial Adventure Van that I built here. Uh, I just remember having so much fun building this rig. And even though I was thrashing to get it done, it, it was a blast. Working with my brother was really cool to to create some of these accessories or modify some of these accessories. So anyway, this is the Moon Eyes van body, of course. And then this is the RC four wheel drive roof rack that we customized to fit it. Now, as you can see, these uh, loops right here, these were welded on. These were actually part of the original Defender roof rack. And we just cut them off and moved them over. Uh, and then we built this pillar mount here. Uh, and then my brother actually, he went ahead and built this little shelf plate here to mount the lights. These are just axial lights. And then here's that gutter guard material that we used uh, zip ties here to, to hold it down. So it's got, it's got a really cool look to it. After we did that, we sprayed everything with that, uh, the bed liner. And of course you got, you got to have some accessory tools when you're in an accident competition. So we've got some, some plastic tools there, but, uh, I think the look came out really good. Uh, these are the, the mirrors that came with the body kit. These were sprayed with uh, black bed liner as well. 
But uh, just gave it a simple paint job. Again, just tried to replicate that full scale truck that I saw. And uh, it did turn a lot of heads at the event. And just to show you the back side of the body here, we mounted the roof rack to the body itself. Uh, and then we made this little adapter here to mount the wheel. Got to have that spare tire in competition. And then you can barely see it, but my buddy, uh, Tony, he made that rockin' van license plate just to set off the final look of it. And then underneath, there's just the, the lighting electronics, but uh, pretty simple, and it came out pretty good. All right, let's look at the chassis itself. So here's that front bumper. This is a, I believe it was an RC four-wheel drive Defender front bumper, and this fair lead, fair lead here, this is from RC four-wheel drive as well. And uh, we just made this custom front bumper mount so the bumper would fit. And then um, my brother made this little skid out of some extra bar stock from the roof rack. So it came out pretty good. We've got some axial lights on the front, just gotta have lights in the event for the nighttime portion of it. Now what I did here is I took the stock servo that came with the ready to run truck and uh, gutted it basically, turned it into uh, a winch. That's what a lot of people did back then. There's a lot of winches on the market now, but uh, a lot of people still use the servo winches. It actually worked really awesome. I was really surprised how well it worked. Um, and then we have some axial links here for the steering. And as you can see, I used a lot of the stock plastic axle parts and everything held up really well. I was really surprised. Even the, the old slider shafts here, uh, I only lost, I believe, one screw pin in competition. Other than that, nothing, nothing broke on this truck. It worked really well. And carrying the weight of that body, uh, I was surprised at, on how well the rig did. But uh, here's the axial links, and again, I just uh, kind of just kept reworking them until I fi found the right wheelbase. And let's see, over here is the axial, or sorry, the RC four-wheel drive rear bumper. This is the steel rear bumper here, and we again fitted it to work on this rig here. These are some RC four-wheel drive shackles as well. And again, just used some of the, a lot of the stock plastic parts, stock shocks here, stock shock hoops. Um, Vanquish was really awesome. They saw the truck and uh, they wanted to contribute something on it So they gave me this gear guard right here, which was really cool, but uh, just use the stock Axial motor we have a Tekken FX speed controller back here, and this is this is an axial uh, XR10 uh, Radio box here, so I put my receiver in there actually and I put some of the uh, Lighting electronics in the front box here to get the battery lower, I mounted it on this plate here and moved the plate around. Uh, but that was really about it. Oh, of course, to mount the body, I had to use uh, some extensions here. So actually, I took some regular body posts, flipped them upside down, slid them up in, and then made these aluminum tubes so I could extend the body mount. And this is a body mount that comes with the axial kits uh, for the taller bodies. But that's how I made it fit because it did need to be extended. And uh, let's see, I think I've basically touched on everything here. Uh, the, these are my taillights, uh, a little crude, but uh, when I was finishing the truck, it was actually at the event and uh, I didn't have an extension to run the wires to the back. So I just kind of taped them there. You do what you got to do, but it came out really cool. I'm excited. Uh, I was really excited how it turned out. And like when I rolled it out for the first time, everybody was just like, what, a van? Uh, I don't think anybody was expecting a van, so that was pretty cool to see. But let's get this thing out on the rocks. Uh, I'm going to fire it back up for the first time in probably, I don't know, five, six years since the last time I drove. No, maybe it's a little sooner. But anyway, I'm going to go find some rocks. I'm going to show you uh, how, it, how it handles out there. It's pretty top-heavy, so it's a handful to drive, but it just kind of adds to the fun of the whole uh, Axial Adventure van. All right, let's go drive it.
story behind the Axial Adventure Van. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you like Axial stuff, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more cool projects in the works.